So good morning, everybody, and welcome to the conference. Um, I'm Clara Miller. I'm the president of the F.B. Heron Foundation. And first, I just want to say thank you to the um, Pocantico Center itself, uh, because you know here we have this fabulous place. And I also want to say thank you to the weather gods, because it looks <laughs> like it's going gonna, it's gonna to be relatively OK for the next couple days. I just want to kick us off with a little background on, on why at least I think we're here. Uh, and hopefully we can, we can learn a lot more about why we're here by the time we leave uh, tomorrow. But a little background on the, on the uh, Heron Foundation itself, where, as you know from, from the, the required reading, which I'm assuming everybody <laughs> has completed, uh, we are um, about a 20-year-old-plus foundation, and recently made the decision uh, and the Heron Foundation, I've been there for about two years. Long before I arrived, the Heron Foundation was a leader in um, mission-related finance, in, in deploying its in what's called endowment capital for mission, uh, beyond the usual requirement of the IRS to make 5% available for grants every year from the, from the corpus. It's more like 45% for the foundation. So after I arrived, and the foundation's mission is to help people and communities help themselves out of poverty. And after I arrived, we kind of soul searched a little bit as foundations are wont to do, and concluded that we didn't need to have a whole strategic assessment to figure out that if our mission was what we said it was, things were not going as well as we had hoped they were. There were there was a widening income gap. There were more people in poverty than there had been for a number of years. And that we needed to really address the urgency of the situation if we were serious about being a mission-oriented and a mission-driven organization. So we made the decision to invest 100%, to look to invest 100% of our endowment, of our capital, for mission and, um, and set about to make that happen. Um, so when we, made, you know, when we took that decision, we combined the investment and the grant-making side of the house. We started thinking about, we, instead of saying, well, how can we make grants for mission, we started thinking, what is the best use of a Heron dollar for accomplishing mission? And we became agnostic about the market to some extent. We said, you know, it doesn't really, we, we don't care if it's a public company or a private equity deal or a not-for-profit grant. All of those are enterprise tools for achieving mission. And what we have are financial tools for enabling them to, to go forward. So we've taken an investor's eye view, and that's part of our quest for data. That's part of why we're starting to say, well, wait a minute. So. What we're looking for is find, we're, we have to find the best deals now from both a, a mission and a financial point of view together. What is the kind of mini-max? <laughs> what is the sweet spot of those two things? Uh, then over time, we want to see if the best deals perform. Right? It's, not, it's not enough to say, OK, you're a really good, you know, that we, we aren't taking it on go as gospel that nonprofits are good and for-profits are bad. We're, starting to say we're all in the same society and we want to have everybody be, be, be positive and moving to a good place. And then we want to be able to figure out if the wider impact of these uh, enterprises taken together is positive for the world as a whole. And look at not just single enterprises in a bell jar or even you know, our work in a terrarium. <laughs> but what's happening out there, and how can we participate in this wider world, and what's really, what's really the impact of these enterprises? Um, and then the final kind of precept is that we want to bring, the idea is to bring everybody up the curve. It's not to say, look, we're doing a great job. Look how wonderful the grantees or the investees of the Heron Foundation are. We want to be able to say, we're bringing all of the organizations in this industry vertical, let's say, to a better place. They're learning from each other, and that data can be a powerful tool in doing that. So here are sort of provisional principles that the foundation is, is, is uh, navigating uh, along. One, that all investing is impact investing. 
intentional or not, bidden or not, examined or not. It might have a negative impact, it might have a positive impact, but it needs to be examined as one or the other. That data can be a powerful tool in finding out whether it's negative or positive, but it, it should be in the commons. That is, it's not okay for the foundation to build data inside the foundation. What we want to do is build data outside the foundation that the foundation and others have access to. That in a weird way, especially in the investing world, and this is true in the for-profit sector in the finance area already, the, the beauty of it is building it outside so everybody can share it. Then the analysts can have at it, the raters can have at it, but if you don't have the data in a commons, you, you know where, and you don't really have facts that are speaking to you and data that's speaking to you as opposed to somebody's interpretation of them. Um, we're assuming, and this isn't the only entry point, but this, we're an investor, so we're looking at enterprise as the entry point, not only individual people, not only geographies, all of those are entries for data points, but we want to wield capital. Um, for mission and finance together. So we're looking at enterprise as the, date, as the entry point. Um, and as I said before, data versus analysis or ratings, we're looking for data, the, real, the, the, the bare facts to the extent they agree, exist. And then rather than in vitro evaluation, a kind of an in vivo feedback on a comparable basis over time on, on a kind of real-time basis. I'm not asking for much, right? <laughs> this is, this is, this is going to be really easy. <laughs> so anyway, back to reality. What I hope we can gain today, and, and uh, I am you know, absolutely thrilled to have the benefit of this remarkable and eclectic group of people, uh, creative and intellectual together, um, and, and all of those viewpoints. So just learning about what everybody in this room thinks and how we're coming at this and, and that problem solving. I personally need a better understanding of the data world. You know, I sort of financial analysis a little bit in the nonprofit world, but not so much a bigger view of what the heck's going on out there. And it's pretty exciting, I think. So I want, it, I want that. And so I think I'm going to stop there. Are there any questions before that we get started or uh, um, observations? burning insights yet? I'm waiting for those to happen. Okay, now I'm going to, we, if someone is moved to tweet, <laughs> the, the tweet thing is uh, hashtag FBH data. And so let's, uh, let's just go into the, um, the initial session. Super, thank you all for coming.